Hello everyone, uh, so today I'm gonna make a slightly different video. I'm gonna work on a resource and I'm gonna try making something useful, something that any server could use, or not any, but uh, some server could use. Now like just a simple tutorial with a simple script, uh, just made to explain some uh, stuff. Um, probably not gonna explain every single step that I'm doing here but I'll try as best as I can and if you like uh, a video like that just make sure to subscribe and uh, like and comment if you if you're gonna want to see um, any more of this uh, so yeah so I'm gonna make a little uh, resource that's gonna be used for treasures I just made a little um, a little diagram here just for myself uh, to organize my stuff a little bit uh, for the beginning uh, I'll most likely gonna add a bit uh, more stuff later into the diagram but yeah uh, just for the beginning uh, so the goal for the beginning is to create a little class treasure box class which is gonna hold IDs content uh, of um, box uh, box ID as well and if and it's gonna say is if the uh, box treasure box treasure chest I don't know I'm just gonna call it boxes probably uh, is looted or not uh, I also gonna need a, a little table of all the boxes uh, most likely just IDs of them I'll see and yeah those are the functions for the beginning that I'm gonna need uh, all of this is most likely gonna be just in server side uh, we're gonna go to uh, this is just gonna this is just a basic uh, sort of um, back end of the resource so the idea of the resource is that um, administrator or someone with the privileges will be able to drop boxes with specific inventory in any place of the map and then players basically can go search for them and get the loot so let's start with creating my uh, resource manifest uh, first of all gonna need server probably scripts server uh, dot lua and I'm gonna need a little uh, file let's call it let's call it box dot lua that's gonna be our class uh, file um for now it should be okay uh, so let's create a new folder in here. Let's call it classes. New file in here, box that one. So uh, let me just open some documentation. So I'm gonna create a function. Uh, let's call it create treasure. Uh, box I guess in here we're gonna need um, I'm thinking should I most likely I'm gonna need box ID uh, then I'm gonna need uh, chords um, and uh, inventory I'll probably call it inventory it's gonna return self and we're gonna create local self is equal to empty array so I know I didn't make any uh, tutorials for the classes so uh, maybe I'll make it in the future but uh, I'll try to explain a little bit of the stuff here uh, let's create uh, self 
course is equal to course self um I probably should have started with uh, box ID is equal to box ID self um inventory is equal to inventory um and self is loaded is equal to false yeah for the default I want it false because when I created it technically it shouldn't be looted like straight away okay so how classes are working So basically, what class allows us to do is it allows to create lots of objects that um, that have um, different parameters. Um, these are basically the parameters for our uh, uh, no, basically these are parameters. These are probably I don't really know about the uh, I'm not sure about the terminology at the moment. But basically, yeah. Uh, this is what um, this is probably what parameters our uh, each every single of our um, uh, class object is gonna have so class allows us to basically create lots of uh, objects that uh, can uh, that can um, have the same uh, who the fuck is spamming uh, just might as well put do not disturb on my discord so what class does is it allows to have uh, functions uh, for the objects we create using the class and what we can do is for example we can uh, create a uh, function which we could call uh, loot uh, loot create is equal to function uh, there you go. so in here once we create every single of our treasure boxes we can use for every single of them we can use uh, loot crate and that's gonna execute everything that's in our uh, function that is uh, why uh, classes are quite useful especially it is really um, good and really nice to have them if you want your code to be really clean since you write it all in a separate uh, in a separate file but I'll probably talk about it more a bit later so now we need to think of what else we're gonna need for our class uh, self loot crate and uh, so we're gonna have to add functionality to give probably all the items to the person Loots it. So maybe we need player ID here. Player ID of the person who loots it. What else can we add? For now, I'm not really sure what else we need. So let's create server dot little file. In here we create boxes our empty array um, the idea is to make uh, all the resource work through database that all the treasures will be stored in database and and yeah so when the resource starts it should make up a little 
I need a little function that's gonna load all the boxes into the uh, boxes array from the database. So I need mine SQL dot ready Charles function and and from here I will need to I will probably need to fetch all uh, from my database from my SQL async fetch all um, I need select all from I'll need to create a table which we're gonna call probably uh, treasure boxes I guess um, I think I just need that really I'll start thinking if I really need um, boxes array uh, for everything because if I have everything in the database I don't really need an array unless I want unless I want the uh, unless I want my database to be a bit uh, not loaded as much basically so yeah I think if I will if I will load uh, if I will load all the boxes into the array that will load up my database a little bit less so I might as well just try doing that Oopsie. So yeah, I'll just try doing that, but then every time I delete a uh, box, I'll need to delete him from both from here from there. Or I just can really... I'll think about it. Okay, so uh, let's do that if data is not equal to no. Oops. Then end and... If that is null equal to uh, that I need four uh, then I will need to i is equal to one uh, number of data I I guess no wait why don't I do that I don't really need that box is not equal to nil if data is not equal to nil then boxes is equal to data there you go am I wrong should be right yeah and then yeah so now I just need to create a a new table uh, let's say okay so I need um can I create this in the back uh, create table mm. eh, 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 I'm gonna call it how do I call it treasure boxes Uh, we're gonna call it ID and 
guess war char c55 why the fuck is it being done war char c55 not not and oops car char not car char need war char And then I need then I need a, 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 a contents or inventory. I just write contents a, a, a war char again C five five. Oh why the fuck are you doing that? So I need primary key ID. Uh, let's see. Do I need? wrong with this maybe I'm missing variety somewhere but yeah, there you go so I'll create table treasure boxes uh, auto command uh, how they call it treasure boxes yeah treasure boxes okay Just so I can try. Might as well copy that. Just so I can try if it uh, if it gets it all from there. Uh, all right. So I have this uh, pudding there. What else do I need? Uh, we might as well as well just do uh, four is equal to one. Uh, is equal to one. Boxes do and uh, print. Let's print boxes I dot. Uh, what do I need? Chords, was it? They're called chords. Uh, yes. Splendid or splendid, okay. Now I can try starting. My server to see how it goes. I just realized that I forgot to add this. Which um, gives me access to uh, basically, it's uh, basically uh, MySQL uh, library. Uh, excuse me. Oops. I refreshed it. Should have let me do that. Supposed to put it first. Can't remember now. Okay, there you go. All right. 
right, so um, there's scores, and we also have and we also had uh, inventory, inventory. They call it inventory contents for fuck's sake. So contents. Okay, that's just what I put there. That is great. Oopsie. Okay, so once I'm done with that, just here. Uh, yeah. Function add box to database. Uh, let's. Uh, 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 uh. So I need chords. Uh, and contents. And here we're gonna call my SQL async execute execute insert into uh, treasure boxes chords contents uh, values add chords add contents and then we do this and contents oopsie contents is equal to contents so now I'll add a function uh, so now I'll add a function that is going to delete a uh, treasure box from both array and database. So let me just do that. So now, uh, delete treasure box um, function is gonna delete it from uh, from the MySQL table and from uh, and from the array as well. So I think let's try doing that. Let's uh, register command. Let's try delete delete box uh, function handler source args. Treasure box. Uh, I'll just put arms one. Uh, yeah. Should I put two number here? I don't think so, really. Yeah, let's try like that. So if I restart and delete box. Um, which has uh, ID of four, so this should be gone now. Yes, it is gone. That's perfect. And if I restart it, it obviously is not loading there. That is great. Uh, I don't need this anymore. Let's 
So now I can call this function whenever the box is looted. So let's say uh, I'll just copy that, delete, and so box ID. So that is going to delete once this is looted, and that is great. Also, what we're going to need is going to have to add a um, all the items from this and I'll have to think of the way of doing it okay what I'm gonna try do now is I'm gonna start <coughs> I'm gonna start uh, thinking about front end and how to implement everything to game first what I'm gonna do is I will um, I will um, try making uh, try decoding all the items uh, I just need to really remember how to do it uh, to decode all the array of the contents that are gonna be in the box uh, to JSON uh, to JSON format to uh, basically put it in the database because that would be a much easier way of doing it so I'm just gonna try figuring out the way of doing it now So I ended up creating a little um, algorithm that lets me to put command add box and enter item name and number of the items and then another item name and uh, number of them as well. Uh, but I got into another uh, error saying that you can't find this for some reason. Um, I know why it's that. Because I, um, I didn't put that. And I'll need to refresh and oopsie daisy. And restart this. And let's try and do that item two four. Let me see what goes into the database. And yes, I have first item, second item, and uh, amounts of both of them. That is great. Now I just need. Uh, I just need to find a way to work with uh, coordinates. But that I'm gonna do. <laughs> when I start implementing everything to game yeah I think I think I should register this command in uh, client side actually because I will need um, coordinates of the player uh, because I want to do that uh, where player stands in that place that he will be able to add the box um, and I'm not sure if I can actually find uh, coordinates from server side uh, probably I need to do uh, client side uh, 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 yeah yeah I'll try figuring it out also actually I went into a uh, native reference for them and I found out that it is in the uh, server side as well. There's one client side and one server side and that's great because then I can uh, uh, yeah I can just uh, use uh, get entity cores in, 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 in server side and that's really good so I won't need to actually do anything in client side uh, in terms of that so uh, ok 
Okay, uh, now I need to do. <laughs> now I need to check actually if source exists. If uh, source is not equal to minus one, uh, then I think it's minus one. I'm not sure what console actually returns. Uh, but yeah, let's just start doing that. I might as well just do it this way. So I'll still be able to do it in, um, in here. And I'm coming here and I'll add a uh, variable, let's say, on the records. So uh, local records is equal to uh, how should I do it is equal to array uh, oh, fuck's sake. Uh, x is equal to Equal is equal to zero. Yeah, so x is equal to zero. Um, y is equal to zero, and uh, z is equal to zero. Point zero. I'll just put point zero just uh, so it knows that it's a double number I think that's how you write it I'm not really sure yeah and I will need to um, anchor that as well uh, JSON and code and chords uh, let's see how it goes uh, see if it yeah that's what I need really that's great I might as well put that as a number yeah I think I should uh, uh, make this to number uh, just so it registers it as a number so now because now it is uh, putting that as a string as it is in quotes if I do that then it should come up as an integer I, I mean as a number yeah it's not in quotes anymore so that's great uh, because later I might need a not as a uh, string but as a number okay so if source is uh, basically if this command is written not from console that's what it means in simple terms then I will need to get uh, player coordinates and rewrite them here so then uh, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is uh, I lost. No, I need this. Actually, I don't need it. It's just so uh, local player is equal to source source local pad is equal to get player pad. Player and local uh, player chords is equal to get entity chords from pad, and then I put it in chords. Uh, I might as 
just do it like that is equal to the chords dot x. Yeah. Dot z dot y and then these like that. Uh, so basically it does the same format as here but it does it in it does it from coordinates where the player is exactly at that moment when he writes the command. Okay, so so now I need to think that when uh, I will need to create an um, a, a a function that is gonna get all of the boxes. Oh, also. I wanted to sort of modify this. Yeah. I'm gonna create local box is equal to create treasure box. Uh, dot dot id dot dot uh, chords dot dot uh, contents. And then boxes is and then boxes dot uh, dot id is equal to box yeah so that's gonna put it in there as a um, class object as an object created by class uh, basically same way as it does here okay um, that's just my testing stuff. Uh, yeah, I should put it like on the top so it doesn't mess around with uh, all of these. Okay, so now I'm gonna need I'm gonna need uh, to create some. I think I'm just gonna call it local boxes as well. And in here, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna make a uh, oops, actually net event. I'm gonna call it Zeppelin Treasures and. Just gonna need it call it boxes, and then boxes is equal to boxes, and uh, set boxes. So that is gonna send boxes array from server side to client side. Basically, that's what it's gonna do. Uh, because if I have it in server side, it's not going to be found in here. And in here, I'm going to need to create a thread. And I'm going to do some really <coughs> uh, and I'm going to do some some nested or uh, nested loops here. Uh, I'm gonna do that. Uh, to amount of boxes. Yeah. And here, it will have to go through each box. And uh, also, I need to create local pad is equal to get player pad minus one. And here I will need distance is equal to hash. Entity 
cards. Uh, page. I'm just gonna try uh, making it uh, draw each of the box when player is nearby. Yeah, I'll just try doing that and I'll come back. Yeah, so that should do, that should draw a marker and um, if players uh, at least um, less than 100 meters away and then if he player, if the player gets like 2.5 meters away from the marker he'll be able to press the button and uh, he's gonna get that text, let's just test it for now uh, yeah, obviously my fandom crashed and that is just wonderful. Uh, yeah, let's try to get into the game and uh, see if all of the clan side works for now. Yeah, I still know that um, if I will uh, make a marker, I mean make a uh, box, uh, it's not gonna come up right away because it didn't make any uh, any trigger to refresh uh, to refresh the um, markers, uh, not the markers, the boxes. But what I'm gonna try to do now is I'll try adding box. Uh, let's say weapon pistol one. Uh, let me see if that comes to the database. Uh, ooh. It did come, but it didn't put my uh, coordinates. I think because I didn't restart the thing actually. Oh, yeah, so I also had forgot that I needed to put this in a for loop uh, to index every single of the data uh, line. So yeah, let's try doing it now. Uh, let's see if it comes to the database. Yes, the coordinates are coming there. The only thing is that they are quite long actually and they are not rounded. That sometimes might cause problems. So let's have a look into it. Uh, so it's around. Uh, coordinates. I'll create a little function. So yeah, that's just basically the algorithm. And uh, what I'm gonna need uh, is just put that in front of. Uh, basically, put the coordinates inside of this. Uh, inside of the function. And that uh, should uh, let me return the coordinates as a bit shorter uh, rounded number and uh, then it's not gonna cause any problems for me later. Uh, so let's just see if it did it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, 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 five numbers in each one. That is great. Uh, so now, mm, wait. If I'm if I'm restarting the resource, I think it's still not going to. Uh, it's still not uh, showing me the thing, or is it? Uh, client, but. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, what the fuck did I did here? Uh, I need box dot chords. I don't know why that put a uh, player in the. Yeah, that's what I need. Uh, let me see if that is happening. Should draw them 
marker somewhere around here, but it's not doing that for some reason. Um. Hmm. Because it doesn't set it on the client side, obviously. Because the um, function, uh, the event is not even triggered. So yeah, I need to trigger the event. Trigger client event. I'll just copy the name because otherwise I'll just mess it up. Um. Ooh. Ah. Okay. I will need to um, put it when player joins the server. Then I need it. Uh, to do it but yeah I'll just do that I actually should put inside of this yeah and uh, ooh, 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 ooh. okay And it is still not coming up. <laughs> okay. What is still the problem then? <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> okay, that's what I did wrong. <laughs> Uh, okay, so after a little bit of tweaking and debugging, I found that I did some stuff wrong here with the tables. Um, I needed to change. I forgot to, yeah, I forgot to decode the coordinates here, and uh, yeah, there was some stuff. So uh, yeah, I have those three boxes that I created here, and if I uh, press E. Uh, I get the looting uh, notification, uh, not notification, but print, uh, and that is what I wanted to do so far. Okay, next I am gonna try to, um, I will need to try to draw an object not draw an object, create an object that is gonna replace the markers and uh, uh, I would like it to be a safe or something I'll try to look for uh, some objects that would fit treasure sort of box and yeah we'll come back with that So yeah, I was able to um, do something like that with a little box model, little box object. Uh, I might as well just uh, try looking, try having a look at the other objects and try changing it. Uh, but I'll uh, see about it later. Uh, obviously, I can't really delete the boxes that I spawned now, but uh, that's just for testing, so it doesn't matter. So yeah, I'll just do a little bit of cleanup now and I will try to look for another uh, box uh, model.
so yeah I ended up cleaning up a little bit of the code I ended up uh, just I think I should delete that as well uh, the SX uh, I made it a little weight if uh, it is still nil um, I also deleted the marker which was not necessary in this case uh, yeah changed the coordinates a little bit and all that um, also allow, um, enabled the collision for entity as well uh, just to make it like a little bit more natural uh, so yeah what I could also do is I could add um, facing to it hmm like a heading uh, I think I'll do that a bit later yeah I'm just leaving for now so yeah basically what I want to do next is I want to add a little notification when you come to it and uh, just so player would know that it is a treasure and that they found a treasure uh, um, and that they can press an E button to loot it and then after that I will try adding uh, um I will try adding um, uh, 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 like looting like actual looting for it because now you can't really take any items out of that so uh, I need to I need to find one of the no, it's not this uh, sex this this yeah that's what I wanted uh, show help notification mm -hmm. show advanced notification show notification that's what I want is this client side should be yeah basically I just want to add notification um, for that um, so if player is closer uh, yes six notification uh, message is there oh okay I can change the color uh, I like 120 130 now I'll get just get 160 that's a bit more uh, natural Uh, 160 and uh, I as well put that to true why not I'll just get through there and I said 160 and let's see if it works no okay that's great uh, if I move away does he uh, what? Why is it still there? Huh? It's gonna. There you go. Uh, I'm gonna say E. Now say e. you found a treasure. E. Loot it. Uh, yeah. There you go. Oh, could um, I might as well. Oh, careful with that. I don't, I'm not sure if the fl flashing is now a bit annoying. Now nah, I'll just leave it for now. Um, I know that I can. 
add a uh, actual button input pickup. I think it is. Can't really remember. Things like that. Should be like that. Ah, how do I put the number thing? There you go. That's what I wanted to do. And if I press E, it's looting it. Uh, okay. I've got that done. Now I need to uh, make it actually uh, lootable, I guess. So for that, let's create a new event. So event, let's call it the ZP um, treasure uh, loot and loot treasure box. Okay, and uh, what I want in here. Huh. I need to pass ID of the loot box actually. So, box ID. Is there anything else I want? Um, probably not. Okay, so let's do local. Source is equal to source. I mean, it's not really necessary to do that, but sometimes for some reason, source just returns nil, and when you do that, it works. So, yeah, that's just a practice that everyone is doing usually. And then we gotta do explorer is equal to ESX. I'll need to register ESX here as well. Um, ESX, uh, so there you go. Uh, get player from ID. Just like that, I think so. Source, yeah, okay. And now, um, Local box is equal to boxes. Um, box ID. That's gonna return my box with all its um, as an object basically, and um, uh, then I need to get all the contents of it. So. Think uh, so. I need a local uh, items in box is equal to. Uh, I need to decode it. Oops. Jason, decode. Should I decode it? I think I should decode it here. Jason. Decode. Uh, so decode all this contents is gonna be saved there. So I don't need to decode it here. And now we can say the box that contents is equal to that. Then I need four. Um. Oh, actually, I was gonna do it here. Uh, yeah, I can't just do that. Uh, so, I was gonna do box loot 
uh, box lid box it's gonna delete that and what I need to do is Uh, box is equal to that box loot box blue I source and that's gonna pass that to this and here I'm gonna local explorer is equal to esx dot get player from id uh, player id uh, then I'm gonna go through all its contents um, for uh, light is equal to one, I guess. Uh, number of contents D and uh, so it returns amount of them. I can't remember now. Should probably do um, in pairs. In pairs of self, in fact, self contents. Um, let's just try printing it. Print V and print K. Um, and let's see what it does. Let's run my internet trigger. Uh, server event oops oops yep and I need to pass box ID yeah let's see what it does Um, what? What happened here? Oh, there you go. Seems like it is getting the amount and getting the thing. But it's showing some error a uh, sixty-eight server. weird I think that there's no value uh, local box how come that is no value shouldn't really be no value uh, let me just do some debugging Okay, so apparently the problem is that it does work, but uh, it doesn't destroy 
it doesn't refresh it it doesn't refresh uh, the boxes here so I need I need to find a way to despawn it um, uh, how do I do that? Okay, so what I need to do in um, client side is to uh, destroy uh, entity. Mm. Box chords. Need to destroy that with hash of this that should do it so that's a presser should be destroyed uh, I'm not sure if it's destroyed now because I've spawned so many of them I'll just add one more restart okay uh, yes that is great that's destroying it should destroy it for all network as well um i don't need this anymore so it is getting uh, looted but i can still come here and i think i can still press e yeah i can still do that and that's what uh, caused the problem basically so i need Every time after boxes getting looted, it needs to set the boxes again. Uh, let me see. So after it was looted, it has to trigger this event again, basically. Uh, yep. After all of that is done, really, I think it should do should do the job uh yeah okay so so v is returning item type so that's gonna be item and there's gonna be a mount. Okay, so now I need to add items to the player. Uh, so I'm gonna go into uh, into where did I put it? There you go. Add it no add inventory item that's the one that's what I need to do for the player. Um I think I'm not gonna really check if player can carry that at this point. Uh I'm just gonna just gonna add the item. It's just item name and item count. Add inventory item. Okay, so if that, then X player add inventory item, item name is item and amount should do. Okay, uh, let's delete the ones that have invalid names. I mean invalid uh, things and let's add a couple of boxes to see uh, if it's working
for some reason it didn't destroy one of the boxes. Hmm. I wonder why that happened. Start now, and I should get. Yeah, I didn't get it. Hmm, that's weird. Uh, okay, let's try doing weapon SMG. No, that's not coming up. Okay, now it did. And I didn't get the weapon. Oh, is it because I'm not putting that in capitals? Capital letters. Weapon SMG. Why is it not coming up? That's quite weird. So what I'm gonna do instead is when I'm restarting the resource, this event should get triggered and I will just uh, put wait like two seconds and uh, and then that event is gonna get triggered after the resource getting restarted. So let's see if that happens. One, two, set boxes. Uh, yeah, it worked, looks like. Uh, this time it did, yeah, that's great. Uh, so if I put that, we start it after two seconds. Yes, it did pop up, that's great. That is just wonderful. Okay, so. Uh, I'm getting the items. That works pretty much well. Um, I'm thinking if there's anything. Oh. Oh, so wait. If I remove the item, it is getting refreshed. If I'm removing the item, it is getting refreshed. Uh, I just need to add some permissions for this. Uh, set boxes is not really needed for the moment. Mm. And this, I think, I should add a bit higher. Um, so that is working. Loot box is working. And so I think for the moment, obviously there is much more stuff that you can improve on and what I can do, but I think I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Um, I think I'll try putting the code to the GitHub. Uh, if I did, you will find the code down in the description. Uh, so if you want to improve it yourself, if you want to add something, just go ahead and do it. Just go ahead, get the code and do it. And uh, obviously tell me in the comments, what would you improve? What else would you would do with the with this resource? And uh, yeah, I'll just leave it for you. Uh, I hope you learned something and uh, I hope you helped someone. Uh, if you want uh, any, if you need any help, just uh, join my Discord, which is going to be down in the description as well. And I hope to see you next time. Uh, bye.